Not very. You know, I was pretty frustrated. You know, the car was performing well there. But it was just one of those races where one thing goes wrong and then just many other things go wrong. I had a, a dash failure, so all of my steering wheel lights and what have you had gone. So it was pretty tricky from the start of the race. And then found myself behind Michael. Um, just could not get past. I tried everything, but he knew where to put the car and uh, I came home fifth. So disappointing, but you know, you can't win them all and you, you can't have a great race every time you go out there. It's always very difficult to overtake in Barcelona. It's one, you know, it's one circuit that's worse than Barcelona, and that's Monaco. So it's, it's tricky. You know, Michael knows where to put the car when you come up behind him. And if he covers the inside, you can never go around the outside in Barcelona. It just does not work. Every time I tried that, Michael was there. So uh, yeah, he kept moving around quite a bit, so I couldn't get past. I was asked in Barcelona, did I expect to be leading the champs after four races? But I never really had an aim of how many points I was going to get or how many wins. It was more, I want to be settled in by the time I get back to Europe, to Barcelona. I want to feel like I'm part of the team and feel that I'm comfortable in the car. So, to be winning the champs after four or five races, yeah, it's, it's a great position to be in. But, you know, it's an uphill struggle from here, really, for all of us. It's a very special Grand Prix, you know, you don't get any more points for this one than any other race of the season, but to win in Monaco is very special. It's special because of the history behind Monaco, you know, you watch back so many classic races that have been held here, but also because, you know, when you do win this race, you know that you've achieved something because it's such a tough circuit to drive around. It's such a fine line between winning the race and putting it in the wall, and mentally it's so, so draining. We're obviously racing around the streets of Monaco, so the principality comes to a halt because of the Grand Prix. But it's such a good atmosphere. You know, most people are on foot here or they're watching the race from boats. So it's a great atmosphere and it's really nice to be a part of. And if you've got good weather here, it's, you know, it's one of those races that's very glamorous. It's a difficult one. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge. I think that Red Bull's pace has been very surprising for everyone in qualifying so i hope that we can challenge them and if we can you know it'd be amazing to be, to be up there on the podium and, and fighting for a victory here i've got my phone with me so um on my iphone really great thing is it's the first time i've actually had a phone i can get on the internet with so internet and obviously yeah calling 